In Stockverse you want to have a MetaMask wallet, a digital wallet to store your own coin, the coin that you earn by playing so that you are free to sell it for euros, for dollars, for bitcoin or whatever you want at any time. It's the easiest way to play Stockverse in my opinion. So if you're totally new to how blockchain works, don't worry, it's super easy, it's 100% easy. I'll explain you everything you need to know to install MetaMask, very briefly how it works, how to set up a new account in Soccerverse with MetaMask, and then also how to fund your MetaMask with the right currencies that you need, which is Paul, USDC, and Rapchi. Without further ado, let's jump into this quick tutorial, let's go. go so for instance you can see here in my browser i mean i'm in, in um, soccerverse right now up here top right there is a small extension with this beautiful fox this is metamask if you click on this metamask you can see my account so here you can see that is set up in the right chain for soccerverse which is polygon I will explain you everything in the next minute, so don't worry. You see my balance and also you see my tokens, Rapchi, Ethereum, that it's, you don't need Ethereum, and the USDC that I don't have. Anyway, and this is the account address. So let's start from scratch. Let's, got, let's start from the Zuckerberg website, how to set up a MetaMask and how to create an account. Let's go. First thing that you do is play now on any device, of course, right? Let it charge. Okay, now you can see that we are in Soccerverse, we are not logged in, you see sign in, and also you don't see the real names and the real uh, pictures. For instance, this should be UEFA Champions League, and here you don't see the real names of the soccer teams, this Milano Blue should be Inter Milan, and also you don't have the pictures of the players. If you want all of this, I made another video on how to install the data pack. It's going to be up here, very easy. Let's continue with the MetaMask tutorial. So when you go to sign in, you will say that you can sign in with your Discord account if you have Discord. So these are the social sign in methods. You can sign in with Google account, you can sign in with Facebook or actually Meta or a simple email. If you log in with these four methods, it's per perfectly fine. You can play as good as with the others, but it's a little bit more complicated because the game creates an in-game wallet automatically for you. And it's just a little bit more tricky to operate in and out from this wallet for now. So what I recommended and also the game recommends is to use MetaMask, which is a digital wallet like as if it was your own wallet where you put your euros or your, your dollars but for digital currency super easy and another advantage is that metamask is yours 100 percent they don't collect your personal information there is no login there is no kyc it's totally decentralized it's you you own the keys you own your money better use metamask so what you do is you click on metamask recommended as you can see we have no metamask installed so click on that you will be directly redirected to the MetaMask official website where you can get MetaMask. It automatically recognizes my browser. I'm using Google Chrome. If you're using other browsers, I recommend to use Google Chrome. Soccerverse supports many different browsers, but based on my multi-year experience with Soccerverse, I've been playing Soccerverse since it's, this is probably the third year in a row with all the betas. Use Google Chrome. My opinion, go use Google Chrome. Okay, what you do is click on get MetaMask. This is the Chrome web store where all the apps are. I suggest if you're new to crypto to watch the video. I'm not going to watch the video, but watch this video. This is Sam. Sam uses the internet just... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, it's very important. Let's go ahead and add MetaMask to Chrome button up there. Boom. MetaMask can read and change all your data on website, display notification, modify data you copy and paste. Normal stuff, very easy. Everyone uses MetaMask, by the way, it's super popular in the blockchain world. It's the go-to solution, it's the easiest, the most popular. Don't worry about MetaMask. Add extension, boom, it's downloading, downloaded. Okay, MetaMask has been added to Chrome. Before setting up your wallet from scratch, because now you just installed MetaMask, you need to set up your wallet now. But before doing that, just make sure that you pin MetaMask on your bar. So you click on this puzzle, piece in or here which are all the extensions that you have installed in your browser you will see metamask which just installed click on this pin here and boom now metamask will be always here for you to do stuff okay now let's get started with the installation of metamask itself 
Agree to MetaMask term as use? Yes. You can import an existing wallet if you have another wallet, another MetaMask on another wallet, but this is not our case. Let's create a new wallet from scratch, zero. Totally zero. Help us improve MetaMask basically is asking if you want to send some um, anonymous information on how to use it. I say no thanks. Now create a password. This is super important guys. You have to remember this. Password is just the normal type of password that you might use in uh, several apps like your mobile phone or I don't know, Facebook, X or whatever social network you use, okay? This is the password to log in into your wallet. If you lose this password, but you have the seed phrase, which we'll see in a second, which is the super most important thing that you have to save somewhere safe and never forget the seed phrase, not the password. If you lose the password, you can recover your wallet with the seed phrase. If you lose the seed phrase, you don't recover your wallet. Never, ever, ever whatsoever. Okay. But let's start by setting up a simple password. In this case, I'll call it Chow. Password not long enough. It's weak, but it's a password. Okay. This wallet, it's useless. It's just for testing purposes. So even if you log into this, this wallet, I don't care. Chow, chow. Okay. Understand the MetaMask cannot recover this password for me. Yes. Create a new wallet here. Super important. It's about the seed phrase. The seed phrase is a 12 word phrase. So 12 words put one after the other, a chain of words, basically, that is used to recover your wallet. You can take these 12 words and import your wallet with all the money that are inside anywhere in the world. Nobody can ever touch your wallet if they don't have the 12 words. These 12 words are super important. Never give these 12 words or the seed phrase to anyone, nobody. People will try to steal your money by asking their seed phrase, your seed phrase. R rule number one in crypto is write down your seed phrase somewhere that is indestructible and very safe and you know what it is and you will, you will not forget and never give your seed phrase to anyone, not even people that pretend to be your friends, not even to support and nobody should never ask for your seed phrase. If they do, they're scammers. Okay. Okay. Watch this video because this is key. It's very important. It's the only thing you need to remember. Secure my wallet recommended. Make sure nobody's looking. Write down your secret recovery phrase. This is the seed phrase. Click on reveal and there you go. Now you have these words. 1, 2, 12. You see they're numbered. These are my 12 words. I take a pen. This is a pencil, but take a pen and write it down right now in the right order, right? Okay, done, 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 done. Now it just says, fill the gaps basically to check it, that you actually wrote it down. So I mean, in my case here, I should put the number three, which is visit, okay? Number four, voyage. Congratulations, your wallet is protected and ready to use. Blah, 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 done. Your medical, uh, MetaMask install is complete. Next. Yes, they tell you to pin it. We already did because we are big bosses. Okay, and now you are inside your newly created wallet. Totally empty for now. But now let me take you on a tour on your wallet because there are some things that you need to understand. First of all, you will never actually use a tab to see your wallet, at least in my case. I always use it. I'll go back. Okay. As an extension, if you click now, you are already logged in. I think, yes. If you were not logged in in your wallet, you would ask the password, not the seed phrase. Seed phrase, you will never have to use it again unless you need to restore your wallet somewhere else. Never give your seed seed phrase away eh? remember okay now quickly let's see let's go through the wallet first thing first each wallet can hold different sub accounts sub wallets if you want one seed phrase can have multiple sub wallets we will stick to one and this is name account one you can change the account name if you click on it and then on these three dots account details and we can call it uh, soccerverse uh, wallet this is Soccerverse wallet for us, okay? Is the address of our Soccerverse wallet. This long list of string, basically a string of numbers and letters. This is the address that is used to receive money from someone else or from, from another place. If you need to send money to your wallet, this is your wallet address. Just like an email address, right? Let's close this. So now you can see that you are uh, you have named your wallet, Soccerverse wallet. Underneath there is the address. 
you just you can click on it and now you copy it to the into your own computer now it's copied you can paste it anywhere this is very handy to know just remember now this is the balance of your crypto that you have in this wallet we have zero we have no crypto at all so for now it, it says zero and here in the tabs you can see all your tokens we have no tokens for instance ethereum today it's a bad bad day for ethereum it's down 20 percent but you can have a breakdown of all the tokens that you have nft in case you have nfts and then in the activity you will see all the activities that you do a very important thing to know is the blockchain so Sockiverse operates on the polygon blockchain which is way cheaper than ethereum you don't need to know a lot of stuff about blockchain just note that Sockiverse operates on polygon blockchain which is a kind of sub chain it's called the layer two but it, let's not get too too technical it's a kind of sub ethereum chain metamask is an ethereum wallet and all the sub ethereum chains can work directly with metamask and polygon is one of that so in this top left corner you can see that if you over over it you can see that we are in the ethereum mainnet if you click down you can actually change and because Sockerverse works on the Polygon blockchain, you can see that we need to add the Polygon mainnet. It's called Polygon mainnet. The, it's not enabled yet, but it's already supplied as an easy add-on button. So what you do, you just add Polygon mainnet. You will say the currency symbol for Polygon is Pol, and it's not Ethereum, it's Pol. So the Polygon token, you approve it, let's approve it and now it automatically switched to polygon and as you can see on the top left we are not on ethereum anymore we are on polygon mainnet so the tokens it's there are different tokens there is still ethereum because ethereum can be on on polygon on ethereum and other different but now you see that there is pol pol is the currency that is used to pay for transactions in soccer so in polygon you will need like one dollar one dollar worth of uh, two dollars worth of all token to play soccerverse for one year so it's very very cheap now now that you are in polygon you can switch back if you want to ethereum but remember to stay on polygon everything for soccerverse works on polygon okay now the first thing that you need to do is to buy some because to operate in polygon you need poll is to click on buy and sell here button click on that it will open up another window now again it asks me to ask you to track uh, i don't want to i don't want tracking so just just keep this and go back to overview okay this is basically a metamask uh, window you see portfolio.metamask.io very easy connect metamask so you connect your own wallet to this window so that you can manage the money if you click a pop-up comes up and says connect this is very normal Every time you deal with uh, Web3 games and NFTs and, and Sockiverse as well, when you need to trigger a transaction, a pop-up comes up, which is Metamask, that says, hey, you want to do this? Confirm it. Confirm or not? In this case, you confirm. You just want to connect. So connect, wait for the connection, and boom, now it's connected. Now you are in your account, in your wallet, which is empty. We need to buy some polls. So we go to move crypto and buy. Now, depending on where you are in the world and different re regulations, you might find different services. In this case, we are about to buy from our debit card or our credit card some crypto directly into our MetaMask account, directly into Polygon Network, which is the easiest way. There are tons of other ways, but this is my opinion is the easiest way. So buying crypto made easy get you need to get started you need to do this stuff right where are you located i'm located in australia and now you say select pay methods i can use pay id i can use debit or credit card i will use debit or credit card why not here guys super important remember that we need polygon network not ethereum so remember that because it's important you see here this give this asks where you want to buy your funds you want to buy it in ethereum or in polygon we must change that so just click in all networks here instead of putting all networks just to be super sure scroll down until you find the polygon there you go polygon not polygon zk zk evm polygon that's it polygon click polygon boom and now across all the currencies that you can buy directly in polygon we want Poll, the Polygon ecosystem token, just poll, okay? Click on poll, and uh, that's 
that's basically it. Here you can change the services. I like to use, this gives you best rate. I usually use MoonPay, but it doesn't really change much for our amounts. There is always a fee. It's not the cheapest method. This one is just the quickest and easiest method to, uh, it's called fiat on ramp to, to take your in real world, the real money that you earn and put it into crypto. This is the easiest way. So let's put, I don't know, $50. No, actually, yeah, let's do $50. And it tells me that for $50, I will get 101.72, etc. poll. Okay, let's uh, continue with uh, with Banksa, for instance. Let's see what happens. I will not do it. I will let you do it because I don't need it, but I, I will let you continue this process. It's very easy. Every method that put real world money into crypto necessitate KYC, which stands for know your customer. So you will need to give some details, like for instance, your email address, country of residence. They, you will probably have to go through a verification process very easy before whitelisting your card and then pay to get your poll. Okay, everyone does it, it's pretty easy. And I let you do, you see here, identity for security reason, etc. Just go through it and you will receive your poll into your MetaMask. Remember that this is a third party services a service. It's not Soccerverse, it's not Zaya, it's not a MetaMask. It's just a third party services to let you pay with your card and get crypto into your wallet. And there you go, as you can see now, I have 25 uh, worth, uh, 25 dollars worth of Paul, because I didn't buy it because I had it in my other wallet, so I just sent some poll in this wallet so that you can see what we do now. 